All right, ladies and gentlemen, so we talked about our new formulas and what we, they want us to do for this problem. So they want us to find the center of the vertices, the foci, um, and the equation of the asymptotes of the hyperbola. So what we first need to do, though, is write it into our standard form. And we've been familiar with that by completing the square, right? So the first thing I'm going to want to do, though, is rearrange my variables so they're next to each other. So I have 9x squared plus 36x minus y squared minus 6y equals a negative 18. All right? Then I'm going to have to complete the square for each one of these. So now remember, though, when completing the square, when we're looking at completing the square, remember this problem is a subtraction, right? Hyperbola is a subtraction of the two distances. So we don't need to subtract out this negative 1. I can just leave this here as that subtraction part. I don't need to factor out a negative 1. Um, actually, I do need to factor out the negative 1. So we'll go through this. So here I need to factor out the 9x squared, right? Yes. So I factor out a 9, and I'm left with x squared plus Four. Um, 4x. Here I factor out a negative 1, and I'm left with a positive y squared plus plus 6y equals negative 18. Now I can complete the square for each one. 4 divided by 2 squared is going to be 4. So I have 9 times x squared plus 4x plus 4. Taylor, I'm asking you really nicely. Um, y squared plus 6y is going to be 6 divided by 2 squared. is going to be added to 9. So it's going to be y squared plus 6y plus 9 equals negative 18. Now remember what we're um, remember what we're multiplying by. What are you talking about? Whatever you add on the left side, you have to make sure you add on the right side, right? Yes. So notice here I didn't add a four. I also added um, a four times nine, which is going to be I'm adding a thirty-six over to this side. So I added a four here, so I'm also going to add a four times nine here. And then here, I'm adding a 9, but in reality it's a 9 that's being multiplied by a negative 1. So I need to make sure I have a um, 9 times a negative 1. So now what I'm going to do is let's now factor this out so it's complete. Let's uh, factor this to a binomial squared. So I have 9 times x plus 2 squared minus y plus 3 squared. Here, I have negative 18 plus 36, which is going to be a positive 18, and then plus a negative 9, which will be a negative not, or nine. 9. Okay, so now, remember, still in that general form, I need to divide by 1, or sorry, divide by 9, so it equals 1. So then that can't be out. So I'm left with x plus 2 squared minus y plus 3 squared over 9 equals 1. So now they're asking us to find the center. Teachers, party interruption. At this time, would all teachers of 9th and 10th graders please escort their students to the auditorium for the UPCAP pep rally? All 9th and 10th, to the gym, I'm sorry. All 9th and 10th grade teachers, please escort your students to the gym for the UPCAP pep rally. Thank you. So we'll finish the problem, and then for those of you that need to leave, we can uh, go at that time. So let's just finish this up. So we have x plus 2 squared minus y plus 3 squared divided by 9 equals 1. So now they're asking us to find the center, find the foci, um, the vertices, and yada, 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 right? So let's just go with the easiest one, the center. The center is going to be at negative 2, negative 3. Remember, it's always, with the hyperbola, it's always your a squared minus b squared, right? Always a squared minus b squared. So we can say that a squared equals 1, therefore, a equals 1, b squared equals 9, therefore b equals 3, right? Now, uh, the one thing I did not go into with it um, with you was the definition of your a, b, and c. There is a different, um, there is a different, ladies and gentlemen, relationship between our a, b, and c for our hyperbola, okay? So, Rather than having, if you guys remember, an ellipse at a squared equals um, b squared plus c squared, yes? Yes. yes. And a hyperbola 
is going to be c squared equals a squared plus b squared. Okay. So normal. Huh? So you can think about it this way. It's also like this. Yeah, it's kind of think of it. Just think of it like this. What were you doing before? Remember when we talked about an ellipse, you're adding, right? So in a hyperbola, you're subtracting. Just all, if you guys can think back to those definitions, that you're adding with the ellipse, you're subtracting with the hyperbola. So rather than being a squared equals b squared plus c squared, to say, oh, a squared equals b squared minus c squared, okay? So now, we need to figure out, um, we need to figure out to find our foci, we need to figure out what c is. So therefore, I can say a squared, which is one, equals nine minus um, c squared. Well, subtract, subtract nine. So I get negative eight equals negative c squared, divide by negative one. Eight equals c squared. Um, take the square root, and you get 2.828.4271, or you could just round that to no. two square root two. Try to keep it clear. Okay. 2.828.4271. That's the rounded version. Um, so c equals square root of 2 divided by 2. So we have our center is at negative 2, negative 3. Our vertices, since our a is under our x, this is going to be a horizontal or a vertical. Since the a is under our x, right, this is squared, so it's going to be a horizontal one. I know this is bigger, but we're not, it does, it's not going back like ellipses. You're just doing a minus b. Always, a minus b. It doesn't matter if it's bigger or not. It's a minus your b, okay? So, since now it's horizontal, um, where are we gonna, from our center, are we gonna be adding left or right or up or down? Left or right. Left or right, so therefore my vertices, if my center is gonna be um, h plus or minus a comma k, right? You're gonna add to your h. So what I'm gonna have is for my vertices is going to be, uh, negative 2 plus or minus 1 comma negative 3. Right? I take my center and I add and subtract a. So therefore my vertices are going to be negative 3 comma negative 3 and um, negative 1 comma negative 3. Last one is I need to do my foci. Same thing guys, foci, your vertices and your center are all going to be on what we call the transverse axis, which is very similar to the uh, major axis, um, but it's going to be, so your foci, which we said is c was square root of 2 over 2, so I'm just going to say it's going to be now negative 2 plus 2 square root of 2 comma negative 3, and negative 2 minus 2 square root of 2 minus 3. So you're going to do the same thing, you're going to do negative 2 plus or minus whatever c is, which is 2 square root of 2 comma negative 3. Um, I don't have time to do the asymptotes, so I'll go over that. Um, well, you guys, have the you guys have the formulas, right? Never mind, you have it. I wrote it down for you. So this one was a horizontal, right? Yeah. So since this is horizontal, we have y equals k plus or minus, I always forget, b over, uh, b over a, times x minus h. So therefore, we're just going to plug in our values. So y equals k, which is negative 3, plus or minus b over a, so that's going to be 3 over 1, times x minus 0, or x plus 2. So then you can distribute that, y equals negative 3, plus or minus 3x plus 6. So therefore, ladies and gentlemen, you're going to have two linear lines that you could go ahead and complete, right? So it's going to be two linear lines that you'll be able to have. All right, that's it for hyperbola. That's it. That's it. Sure. It's the exact guys. It's the exact same thing as ellipses.